Hi there, I'm Teresa Stevens, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a Samba costume that's beautiful, easy, and doesn't cost a lot of money to make. To get started with your new Samba outfit, we're gonna start with making a gorgeous headpiece. And what you'll need to make this beautiful work of art is a baseball cap. This is gonna provide our structural integrity. Also, a glue gun and glue sticks. It's amazing what you can do with the glue gun. You also need fabric scissors and craft scissors. You wanna have really sharp fabric scissors and gorgeous fabric that you just completely adore. <laughs> Mardi Gras beads, beautiful trim, sequins, any old jewelry, different things that you wanna decorate with and add light and sparkle and design. And then the last thing, my favorite, is the feathers. And I love to have a variety of feathers. I love having uh, different shapes and sizes to add texture and movement. So here I have some ostrich feathers and some cock feathers and some gorgeous peacock feathers. And feel free as you're watching the DVD to pause it as you do each step. Before you begin, you want to make sure that you plug in your glue gun, your magic tool, um, to make sure that it's nice and hot by the time we're ready to use it. So we're going to get started with step one. The first thing you want to do is get a baseball cap that has a pretty strong closure here in the back. Right? And you want to cut the cap of the baseball cap off. So you're going to have just the rim that's left. So you're going to start cutting and cut all the way around. Okay, so, all right, excellent. We're done with this part. So now that you've cut off the, the cap of the hat and you just have the rim and the visor, um, you can leave this shape round in this moon shape or you can turn it into a more organic shape. So you want to get one of my other favorite art supplies, the Sharpie marker. And you can draw a shape that expresses the spirit of your costume that you want to share when you're dancing and performing. So for me, I'm going to draw an ocean wave shape onto my visor. And then you can do spirals or hearts, wavy lines. Then you're going to take your craft scissors because you don't want to use your nice fabric scissors on this part. And you're going to start cutting your pattern into the visor. Okay, it takes a little arm muscle, but you will, you will do it. So that's also doing a simpler shape is easier when you go to wrap the fabric around. And if you make any mistakes when you're drawing, you won't see them because it's going to be covered with fabric. So just feel free to try out a couple different ideas even. Excellent. Now that you've cut off the cap of the visor, you just have the rim left, you're going to lay in the fabric. So find some fabric that you really love. I personally prefer stretchy fabric because it's very forgiving. And you also want to buy the most high quality shiny fabric that you can find because after you put all this work into your costume, you really want your fabric to last. So you're going to lay out your fabric so that you see the wrong side. And you're gonna open up the visor and lay it out onto the fabric. Okay, yeah, let's do it this way so I'm working a little more fabric here. Nice. Then you're gonna take one of my favorite art supplies, the Sharpie marker, and you're gonna trace onto the fabric at least an inch border around each side. Okay, to go an inch around the entire thing. Excellent. And you can push this flat so you just make sure that you're going to have enough fabric up here to cover everything. Wonderful. Then the next step is you're going to cut out the fabric. Okay, and just follow the Sharpie line that you created. using your fabric scissors. Okay, 
so probably. Wonderful. So now that you've cut out the shape of the visor, you're gonna lay it flat and we're gonna use the glue gun to fold the fabric around the visor. So you wanna stop, start with the top of the visor because that's the part that you're gonna see the most of. So you want that part to look really nice. And you're gonna draw a line with the hot glue. And you wanna be careful that with the glue gun, the tip of the glue gun gets really hot and also the glue right when it exits the glue gun is very warm. So you wanna wait for the glue to dry a little bit and then you're gonna fold the fabric down. And when you're working with a curved edge, you wanna cut little slits here in the fabric so that it will wrap around the curved edge. Right? Yeah, that's good. Nice, so I'll just keep gluing all the way around. Right, the top of the visor, I'm gonna wrap this Keep going, following the glue down. Excellent. So now that you've wrapped the fabric all the way around the visor, it doesn't really matter if it's a little um, messy back here. Run it all the way around, still leaving the Velcro free so you can use that Velcro to secure your headpiece to your head. Then the next step is, is we're gonna start laying in the feathers. And so you wanna take your biggest feathers first and um, position them in the headpiece. I like the most feathers sticking out possible. And laying them in. And you're gonna take the glue gun and put a line of hot glue right onto the stem of the feather. Right like that. And then you're gonna press the feather to the visor. So when you're thinking about laying out your feathers, you can, you can put all of your feathers flowing backwards, or you can have them all flowing forwards. And sometimes I like to mix it up and have some that go forwards and some that go backwards. But go ahead and take the time to really plan out your big feathers first, putting the hot glue on to the stem of the feather. You may have to trim the feathers of the stems a little bit too. Right, and just laying them all in. Excellent. So now that you've placed all of your big feathers, then it's really fun to add in some different sizes and shape feathers. Just add a lot of movement and texture. And what I really love about Samba costumes is when you're just looking, looking, looking at the costume, you just can't get enough of looking at it, that it takes your eyeball a while to figure out the costume. And I love to create that look by adding uh, extra feathers. Like here's some cock feathers and I can just start placing them in, I always put the headpiece on while I'm making it, making sure that I love it. And so you're just gonna, again, put the hot glue onto the stem of the feather, okay, and lay it in. Pressing it in and being careful not to get the hot glue in your fingers. Feathers are also really resilient, so if you wanna make a new outfit, you can always just pull these feathers right out of this headpiece and reuse them, which is really exciting. Um, you just have to be careful how you store your feathers, because the way they break is when they bend. So, they're very strong and resilient. So I'll start laying in the longer feathers and then placing the peacock feathers. I'm just getting a lot of texture and movement by using the different sizes and shapes. Excellent, so now that you've laid in all your different kinds of feathers and created a lot of movement and texture, right? Look how pretty that is with the three different kinds of feathers. Yeah. Then you get to have fun and create a design here on the front of the headpiece. And you can do this in several different ways. You can find Mardi Gras beads and sequins and uh, individual gems 
And my favorite is to find old jewelry to use too. So it, the way to create a pattern on the headpiece is you're gonna draw a design with the glue gun. Right? So I'm gonna create a really cool spiral here with the glue gun. Nice. And then I'm gonna take my art supply and I'm gonna lay it into the line of glue, gently pressing it down and being careful not to burn myself in the hot glue. <laughs> Great, creating a beautiful pattern. Excellent. So I'll just start layering in different kinds of sequins. And I also just love um, finding really cool pieces of jewelry that someone else has lovingly sequined. And this is gonna look so wonderful just on the headpiece. So I'm gonna enjoy using it. Putting on the glue and laying it in. Excellent. Your gorgeous headpiece.